Hey, what's up guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the New York and Atlantic Railway GP38-2. So the New York and Atlantic Railway, they operate on Long Island, New York, and that includes Queens, New York City, so it operates a bit in the suburbs. So um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It is a short line railroad, so it's owned by the Anaconda Rail Holdings Company. And whoa, is that Chris Boyd just TP to me? Yes, it is. And um, yeah, they uh, also operate on the Long Island Railroad tracks, which you have probably seen the LIRR uh, railroad <laughs> trains that I made. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is make the plow so that it's just uh, another brick stairs facing each other, one in the middle, like this, and on the sides upside down. On top, black concrete, five block wide. The middle is 27 blocks long, so one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And do the same thing in the back. Yeah, I guess there's a plow on the back as well. Although I can't really see, or maybe not, there's no plow in the middle. So fill that in with black concrete, no plow, and then upside down stairs on the sides. And another brick slab in the middle for the coupling and tripwire hooks for the air brakes. Same thing on the other side. And in the middle, we're going to make that three blocks wide. So I'm going to add some more black concrete to the sides of it, like so. And then the other side. And then we're going to add in the wheels. So the bogies for this one are a bit different from the ones we usually do. And actually, in the front, and the back corner, so we need to remove this for the stairs. So let's add a secondary wall right here. Just a gap of space between that and the front and the back ends. And then we're going to add in our wheels. Make sure we're doing this right. So the wheels, uh, there is a gray concrete, so that's a block of space in between that and the edge, so like that. And then upside down, another brick stairs. And right side up, another brick stairs facing outwards like this. And then upside down again, so they're kind of facing each other. And then gray concrete. So that's the basic wheel design. Do the same thing on the other side. Just a bunch of stairs. Like so, and then we do the same thing over here. Just give a block of space. And add in our stairs. Sorry if you can't really see it because I'm using shader pack and usually uh, things can get kind of dark in here. Alright, so now we're going to add in the hoppers and this dark oak wood fence gate in the middle. So hoppers next to the wheels, fence gate in the middle. And just repeat that. So if you already have a GP38 2, I'm just going to use. Uh, this design from now on instead of the old hopper wheels alright so now once we're done with that we can go to the back and add in um, six of these court slaps at so one two three four five six same thing on the other side and we can also add in the steps for the stairs like so both the front and the back And once we're done with that, we can add in uh, the slabs right over here. So let me check if the same thing on both sides. Yes, it is. So we're going to go take court stairs, I mean court slabs, and extend it so it's three past this hopper. So make it match the hopper, and then go three more. So one, two, three, like so. Alright, cool. So this middle part, we're going to add in um, black concrete blocks like this. Just fill that in. While the bottom part, we're going to skip a block away from each of the wheels on both sides, it seems like, and add three uh, black concrete blocks in the middle, and then we're going to connect them together like so. And then we're going to add stairs upside down to the sides of it. So take care of another book of stairs. Just add to the sides so you'll know it's jagged. And that's just the design for the locomotive. 
All right, so once we do that, um, I guess we're gonna add some fencing. So let's add two block tall, another brick fences in the middle. And on the outer part, we're gonna add a birch fence. And on this part, two birch fences on top of each other, like so. Go to the back, add birch on the outer edge, like this. And another brick to the inside. And we're also going to make in um, the ditch lights, so we're going to take um, item frame, place a white glass block inside of it. Same thing over here. And let's add in the hood. So for the hood, we're going to take um, dark person marine, add a 3x3, three three, but we're going to leave like the top middle alone. And the sides, it kind of goes up in a diagonal, so we could do this. And for the front, there is, what is this, block of quartz. Place that right there. Fill in this part with more um, dark prismarine. And let's add another row right here, and then make it extend so it's five blocks wide. This size, we're going to make it three like so, and then we're going to go on the inside like that. Alright, so let's add some windows. So there's going to be a gray stained glass block right here for the windshield. And on the sides, it looks like the same thing. Just a window and then black concrete uh, for all the pillars between the windows. And that's basically the walls of the cab. And, um, on the roof we're going to add three block wide uh, black concrete so it's like a three by three and then we're going to have one sticking down the front like that take a torch add it for some lighting and actually this middle part that is actually a quartz block so let me replace that add a number plate sign on it and this is where you can place your numbers if you want to and another brick stairs on the sides And let's take black carpet, add it right above uh, these quartz block and green carpet right above uh, that part in the front. So now let's add some more black concrete. So there is a row of six down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. The other side, um, I think it's six as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to add uh, this thing in the middle, so that is white concrete block right underneath this um, window. And black concrete block alongside the cab. And also this inner part that's black concrete as well. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is a little bit dry. And yeah, once we're done with that, let's add in some more details. So there is a gray carpet right here. And another brick fence, two blocks tall right here. And we're also going to add in a vent. So there's a two block um, bedrock right here. And let's actually work a bit on the back as well. So uh, let's make a V-shape right here with dark prismarine. And let's make it, I think it's five blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, five. Same thing over here. Then we're going to add in the back fence. So that's bedrock. Uh, four blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then a two by three dark prismarine. Then fill in this back part. And then we're going to take black concrete. And add, it looks like a five. Yeah, a three by five. So one, two, three, four, five. Same thing like that. And then there is a um, block of quartz on the sides. Yep, both sides and then black concrete for the rest of the roof. And then we're going to add uh, the chocolate bar right here. So that's dark oak good uh, trap door, 2x3 right there. Cover up this vent using black carpet and the back part using uh, green carpet like so. We're also going to add in uh, these two vents. So there is 
What is a spruce wood? Yeah, spruce trap door to vents like that. All right, so now let's go um, add in this another brick stairs. So there's like a diagonal. And it starts from the prismarine and goes down like that. Other side, it's just one. So actually, I think there's a block in there. So we're going to add in another a black concrete block and another brick stairs. All right. So now we're going to take um, black concrete. Go right over here, skip two blocks, add black concrete to the side, and extend it back towards the cab. Same thing over here. And then we're going to take a birch wooden button. Add two of them like that on both sides. And we're going to take a green or prismarine. Add two sides. Just finishing off this row. And I guess we're going to make uh, the door banners next. So the door banners, to make them, they're going to look like this. We're going to take a gray banner. Add an ink sack border around it. So place that bar in the middle, and then we're going to add ink sac, uh, like a 2 by 3 on the bottom half, like this. Then we're going to take that banner, add cactus green, a row on the bottom. So that's pretty much it on how to make the banner. Now we're going to have that 2 in the front and 2 in the back of the cab. We're also going to add in a horn, so that's a dark oak wood fence gate right above that light. And a little bit of detail right here. It's um, acacia wooden button like that. Skip a block and add birch wooden button. Same thing on the other side. So it looks like that. All right, so for this side, um, let's add nether brick fence. Add it on the side like this. And we're gonna continue all the way to the back, just every other block. Like so. And those two will be together. So for the other side, I guess it's the same thing. Should add another brick fence, every other block. Sorry, it's hard to see right here. But if you're playing default Minecraft, it won't be this dark. Alright, so in the back there is um, two blocks of dark prismarine right there. And then we're going to add a row of black concrete on the bottom layer, like here, right on the inside. Other side, same exact thing, just add black concrete, and I need to get out of here so I don't get trapped. Alright, that looks good. And then we're going to add black concrete, another row alongside that dark prismarine and the other side same thing and then we're going to add some words in the back so it's going to be four quartz blocks one two three four skip a block add two on the other side we're going to flip it so there is two and then four so two, skip one, add four, two, three, four, fill that in. And then we're going to take dark prismarine and extend this stripe all the way across the back. Like so. Now, once we're done with that, um, we're going to take redstone torches, add alongside this uh, quartz block. And this part, this side is a little bit different from the other side. So it is asymmetrical. So there is uh, four of these nether brick slabs. So we could add that. And alongside those nether brick slabs, we're going to make um, these fences taller. Like this. Then we're going to take a string, add it between all of our fences so that we can have something to hold on hold the carpet up basically because we're going to have carpet for the railing this side is all flat 
So we're gonna take uh, black carpet, or rather green carpet, never mind. Green carpet, go across the sides for the railing. The other side, same thing, but when we get to like the slope where it goes down, we need to add a stairs. So um, that part right there, we need to add a stairs. So we could take that and try to connect them together so it looks like they're together. And then we're also going to add, actually this side looks to be a bit different, so we're going to make a birch button like that, get rid of these two. So I guess that's asymmetrical too. And then we're going to replace uh, this green carpet with uh, white carpet instead. And add a bit of detail in the back. So from the top part, we're going to add an open birch fence gate for the twin light. And add a Minecraft sign for the number plates along the sides. And redstone torches right underneath the signs. And yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the New York and Atlantic Railway GP38-2 in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, remember to hit that like button down below. And subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.